So now what we're going to do is come here and pass down actions. And what exactly is an action, right? An action is a way to manipulate the state. So what we're going to do is up here, we're going to create another property called actions. All right. And then we're going to pass down an object inside of that object. We're going to have properties for each action that we want. So far, all we want is plus and minus. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a function. So we're going to say like this, we're going to use the arrow function. We're going to create a function and then we're basically going to pass down the state and also actions all right state and actions all right now here what we're going to return is we're going to return an object with something like this we're going to say title then uh, matter of fact let's leave title alone let's say total and then for total we're gonna say state that total plus one okay we're gonna copy this and we're gonna come down here create another one but we're gonna say minus so we're gonna say minus one and this one we're gonna call it minus okay save that right now the same way how we did up here that we passed down the state down to the components which are up here right but remember our functions are down here our components each one has a function down here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here we're gonna say actions actions right and we're gonna say actions and we're passing down the object actions so it's coming from here passing down through here going through here to the header and making it available for the header down here so we're gonna come down here and say actions tool and we basically have access to that that plus plus action and the minus action all right so let's do something else with this tool we're going to pass it down to content area we're going to pass it down to buttons area all right because we want all of them to have those actions okay so what we're going to do is we're going to come here we're going to say actions on all the functions passing it down Okay, and then also to let me see what else we're missing anything. Yeah, we got to pass it down through here through the components on the props. So let's take this, copy it, all right. Now we have access to those objects down here, okay now the next thing that we want to do is we want to say for the buttons we're going to do something like this on click right on click well on click we're going to say something like this we're going to say actions dot minus and then for the other one we're gonna do actions plus save that see it compiled everything it's fine one good way to basically debug this and make sure that everything is working is to put a console log and we can see if anything shows up on the console log all right so that I saved it compiled Okay, let's click here. So the same plus, that's fine. 
Now the counter is not changing because we basically have it to static zero here. So what we want to do is make sure we come here and say state that counter, right? Or let's say state that total. All right. So every time we click on plus, basically this action is going to go through, right? This function. And then what it's going to do is going to take the state and whatever the state is, the state total, if it's zero, is going to add a one to it. So we save this and then we refresh, it automatically goes up. Minus goes down. All right. Let's go. We got to negative one. Okay, that's fine. All right. So yeah, man, this is how you work with actions, guys. So it's pretty cool because it helps you keep things organized. Now we could come here and create another button down here. Let's say, for example, we wanted to create one that just resets everything back to zero. So let's say, I mean, buttons area is fine. But let's come down here. Let me see. Where is it? The cotton area. Okay. Cool. So for this one, you're going to come down here and paste this down. And we're going to say reset. Okay. And we're going to say actions dot plus, but we're going to say actions dot reset. And we're going to create another action down here. I'm going to take this and say reset. Okay. And we're going to make the total to zero. Now, one thing that I didn't get to show you guys before was how to work with style. You know how you want to do some inline styling sometimes? Well, we're going to do that now. So we're going to say style and we're going to pass in the equals to curly brackets. And then inside of it, we're going to pass in an object. So what we're going to do is you're going to say style and then I'm going to click enter on this so I could have a little bit more space and more organized. So we're going to say style. We're going to say background. Yeah, background, and then you're gonna say red. Save that. So you can see that changed the background. Cool. All right. So that's how you mess around with, with like the styling. Let's say an example is just the same way as CSS. All right. Let's say we wanted to come here and change this right and we say we want this to be let's say padding bottom let's say 50 pixels right and let's say something like this border radius and we say five pixels all right of course this thing looks ugly but this is just for you guys to get the idea let's say we wanted to do this with JSX, how will we do this? Because you see, if we was to put in the the dash, which is a minus in JavaScript, this is gonna give us errors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say like this, and we're gonna come here, and we're gonna say padding bottom, and we're gonna say 50 pixels. Well, of course, you have to put it into a string, 50 pixels. And then down here, you will say border radius, you will say five pixels. All right. But for whatever reason, let's say an example, you want your numbers to be more dynamic. You could actually come here and just say five plus PX. It will concatenate your your strings 
Like this is good depending on the situation where you want to do like some type of animation and you want to change it around. So let's say an example, we wanted to have something here where we will say something like this. We'll say uh, state, okay, state, uh, state times, okay state dot total times and let's say something like times two right all right so now we have like a more dynamic as you can see it starts changing And we could also do animations through here. So we could say something like this, transition. And we could come here and say all, oh, just the same way how we would do it with regular CSS. Only difference is instead of using border dash radius, we'll say border and then basically use camel case on radius. All right, so let's say all, oh, let's say 0.5 seconds ease in and out let's save that okay see so it could be a little bit more smooth all right so yeah man this is how you play around with it just wanted to show you guys that and yeah Let's move on to the next video. This is your boy Joe back at it again. I didn't did it again, man. I came up with this new course, Hyper App JS course. Guys, if you want the full course and you don't want to wait for the videos on YouTube, make sure you go to the website, you know, codingface.com is going to bring you here to the store. There's going to be a whole bunch of courses. Of course, you could just sign up for the get all access pass. And yeah, whenever you use the description below and you use the link through there, guys, you're going to get 50% off. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.